I've got online uh, Nathan Hill. How are you, Nathan? John, how are you? I'm doing well. Independent film director. <laughs> is that what you like to be called? Yeah, I think it's a good title. Yeah, yes, that, that's what you do, isn't it? You make films. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, your latest film, which is going to be released on DVD and mm-hmm. rental and retail and whatever, it's called The Tomboys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, tell us about it. Yep, so Tomboys, it's a pretty uh, hardcore, in-your-face, uh, action, rape, revenge horror film. Oh, you, you like taking the soft approach, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a pretty strong story. It is, and it's kind of inspired by uh, a lot of films I, I grew up watching as a teenager. In fact, a lot of the rape revenge films like I Spit on Your Grave um, <laughs> is one that springs to mind. Oh, good. <laughs> um, but uh, I suppose it's one of those things, too, you know, where horror is so gruesome these days. I mean, you know, kids are pretty numb to some extreme well, violence, so you've got to up the ante. You're you know? sort of describing 6 o'clock news now. <laughs> 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 but, so, uh, yeah, so, um, so we're, we're, we're hitting the shelves for rental and retail uh, on the 16th. So how did you score that? that? That must have took a lot of work, a lot of negotiating and, and a lot of whatever to get that out there. A lot, lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's one of those things. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fanatic networker, mm-hmm. and uh, in my in my travels, I suppose, and in my work, I um, stumbled across a production company um, called Alliance Motion Pictures. You know, started submitting them my short films, in fact. Yeah, which I've seen a few. Thank you, John. Yeah, that took quite some time to, you know, collaborate and get to a point where we decided we'd, you know, embark on a feature film project together as a me as a producer director and them as their executive producers distributor. That uh, movie I saw oh, ages ago was a short film. It, ha- it was, I think, it was something to do with vampires, mm-hmm. and uh, the filming was done in a sort of a oldish house. Mm-hmm. And it looked like a very old period uh, movie until they yeah. walked up to the person upstairs in the, one of the characters' studies and there was a laptop on the desk. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this looks interesting. <laughs> and now, since I've seen that, you see now TV shows, mm-hmm. contemporary, like, vampire-type shows like True Blood and... Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, what's the other one I'm thinking of? Uh, well, not, not, not sort of discount Buffy, but... Um, but the, uh, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, uh, and there was another one, I think, on Channel 2 just recently, uh, which dealt with a vampire and, and yeah. the werewolf and, and the ghost. You really enjoy the uh, the genre of horror, don't you? Oh, definitely. I think that uh, to start out, especially an independent film, you know, you're already looking at no money to start with. So, I like ho- that. You, know, <laughs> you know, horror is that genre that I suppose is at the baseline. It's the easiest one to do. You know, you only need uh, a lot of blood to get a, a scare or a reaction from someone. Whereas mm. if I wanted to do, a, you know, let's say a you know, a big scale science fiction film, yep. I'd probably find that pretty difficult <coughs> with if I needed set pieces. Because you, with a science fiction film, people, uh, particularly young people, they expect science fiction yep. effects, uh, yep. SF, you know, uh, special Spe- effects, special CGI, effects. And whatever. Yep. Whereas, to me, you can still make a good science fiction movie without all the special effects. You can, but Same I suppose... Same with movie. You know? I suppose I'm thinking more of, like, you're lost in space or, you know, Battlestar <laughs> Galactica or something like <laughs> that, where, you you know, yeah. you have to have um, studio space or it's... And it's gonna it's gonna suffer. Although now you know everyone of course is doing it in green screens, green screen studios, which is the home of the kettle of fish. But then you need your computer savvy guys to uh, right. get that uh, nailed. How computer savvy are you? Fairly, especially when it comes to editing. But as far as the visual effects stuff goes, I've I've got a team of guys that usually do that. So digital compositing, something I don't do myself, or animation, um, I'll get someone else to do it. And I don't particularly enjoy that part of the process. Uh, it's you know because it's quite tedious. Yes, it's it frame is. Frame by frame. And Very long term too. Yeah, I can't uh, sit still for that long. Whereas, job. whereas you like getting your eye behind the camera and yep. and, and direct people and exactly. yeah. yeah and good. Uh, so with the, the tomboys, yep. uh, you wrote the script. I did initially. I wrote the first draft, and then I. I, I the, the way it worked out, you know, we're shooting it under a fairly quick time frame, so I brought in a couple of co-writers to get it up to a standard that would be, a, a, I expect, shootable, <laughs> you know, filmable, if that's even a word. But, um, you know, with the help of, of co-writers, got it up to that to that stage where it needed to be at. Mm. Yeah. Now, having a script and putting something... Uh, on film, for mm. example, is sometimes entirely different things because it doesn't mm-hmm. always go to script. No. So did you find that sometimes that it, that, yeah, that, absolutely. that there was something creative you could do to enhance, maybe even enhance the script? Yep, definitely. I mean, I always think about 
how much money is going to be spent and then try to work the script to match the budget, it's, which is also another tricky thing that takes a long time to understand. But I think it's great when something happens that's better than what you wrote. I'm always looking for that moment, I think. Definitely you have to... Uh, be ready for some sort of disappointments, Mm. especially when it's on low budget. Now, being horror, how does one avoid the stereotypical scenes that people see these days and you're thinking, oh, here we go. Yep, here's another car from Girl girl (laughs) turns around the corner, all of a sudden, bang, (laughs) somebody grabs her, you know. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Uh, Well, with Tom Boys, what we did to avoid that was we went for a bit more of a documentary approach where we shot it handheld and we shot it in real time. Mm -hmm. So that gave it a bit more more of a 24 feel. Oh, yeah. Yes, I know um, what you mean. A bit more live action and kept it very gritty and the blood was, you know, a very, a very kind of dark crimson red as opposed to, you know, some of the, the horror blood you see on TV. It looks like fluorescent orange or something oh, and it's when you watch, so not believable. And when you watch Supernatural on TV, yeah. it, it's usually got that sort of green yeah. and tinge to it all. <laughs> I can't stand it. So one thing with horror, the blood has to be exact. You know, I'm, I must have spent about two weeks with three makeup artists to get the blood consistency exact, you know. It was so much. <laughs> so, uh, tell us, tell us a few behind the scenes. The blood. Yeah. It, what, what do you actually use for the blood? Uh, the blood was uh, was actually Deborah Franklin, who's a fairly renowned makeup artist in Melbourne, done a lot of features, and you know, kind of single handedly has done features. She got it down to a fine art where she used a combination of red food dye and water, but corn syrup was the key ingredient there. <laughs> so, it gave us a bit of sticky, thick. Yeah. substance and gooey so yeah. it's mainly that yeah because when we that made our movie the julian paradox we yes. uh, we uh we ran out of blood to sort of make up blood but we had we found some jam <laughs> 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 and we put it across the uh, the guy's la- ankle, uh, leg when he got you know damaged <laughs> 